Hello, my name is Walter Toki. I am a professor in the physics department and I work on high energy physics experiments. In this video, I briefly describe our research in the neutrino physics experiment called T2K that is now running in Japan. This experiment sends a neutrino beam over a distance of about 180 miles from the Japan Proton Accelerator Complex called J Park in the city of Tokai on the east coast of Japan to the Super Kamio Kande detector in the Kamioka mine near the west coast of Japan. The name of the experiment T2K stands for Tokai to Kamioka. The goal of the T2K experiment is to find the oscillation, or perhaps you would say the transformation, of a muon neutrino into an electron neutrino as it travels hundreds of miles underground from the east coast to the west coast of Japan. In Colorado at CSU, we designed and built many parts of the T2K subdetector called the POD, which stands for the Pi Zero detector. During the spring and summer of 08, we built many parts with our technicians, students, engineer, postdocs, and faculty at CSU. Here you see some of the parts being fabricated in our lab at CSU. These parts were shipped to Stony Brook University, where the final detector assembly was done starting in the fall of 08. The completed detector was shipped to Japan in April 09, as you can see in this photo of the detectors being unloaded in Japan. Many CSU personnel took part in the checkout in Japan during the spring and summer of 09, and finally the checked out detector was installed in the neutrino beam line in September with a large crane that lowered the detector very carefully in a giant frame that held the detector inside a big magnet. The experiment received the first neutrino beam in November and it will begin a commissioning run this spring. One of the very first neutrino events seen is shown here which occurred when a neutrino from the J-Park accelerator interacted with material inside the pod detector. You could see the neutrino interaction starting with track hits in the X and Y view going from left to right. We believe this is a neutrino interaction since it is fully contained inside the detector. This is a very exciting time as the experiment is beginning to run and our research group, which helped build the detector, is now involved with taking shifts in Japan and also starting to analyze the data on our CSU Linux computer farms. This is being done in order to check out the detector and to eventually analyze the data for physics results. 